kitchen cupboard update. Got some primer and paint thick stuff all going on at the same time. There's three drawers done at the back there and we've got some more there to go. Michelle's doing a grand job of painting. Hello everyone. <laughs> got my scruffs on. This doesn't want to get filmed. No. This I don't understand because when we're on the boat. I still got my scruffs on. <laughs> nice day for it though. So the paint that we got for the doors wasn't great, so we're going to start all over again. We've bought some satin paint this time. Oh. Hopefully it should work a lot better, so we're going to slam them back down again. So the cupboard doors are all finished now. I haven't bothered with these recesses because the brackets will be fitting into those anyway and uh, hiding them. So it doesn't matter. But they're all looking nice and shiny. All done on both sides. Because Shell did a couple of coats yesterday and I've managed to get two in today. So cool. All done. So that's pretty much my stairs complete now. It might look a little bit ropey from the side, but It's all just framework. So I'm hoping to cut this away shortly and most of the support then will rely on this, which you'll see from here then. These are all the different steps and I've put some backing on them to stop stuff going through, but I'm also going to put some, just some small pieces of sheets at the back to stop things falling through. But initially, we only want to store shoes on each of the shelves and some uh, leads or something, I don't know, dog poo bags on the top where we haven't got as much room. But yeah, shoes will be going under here so there'll be nothing else really to slip through the back of the net, as they say. So I just thought I'd just make this quick video before I start putting the backboard on. What I wanted was to be able to create a staircase that I could completely access the back of whenever I needed to, because on that air boat, we've got a chlorifier to the right and the header tank to the left with some pipe work running along the back in the corner, which is why I need to cut this frame out so we get to this section here so it'll allow the pipe work to go at the back of it this section here will fix back to the wall with a, a latch fixing and what I want to do then is to be able to fetch all of this out if need be God, I'll totally reduce the weight of this, I'll tell you. But of then, I mean, you can see, I don't need to fetch it all off, but it's got a hollow framework, which I could then, once I've undone the latches inside, which hold it in place, I can just pull it forward and take it away, and I can totally access then the chlorifier and a tank and the pipe work coming from the engine going into the chlorifier just in case there's any leaks that was the aim and it's worked but I'm not 100% sure if it's going to fit yet it will width wise I'm not too sure about height the way the pipe works stick out or should I say pipe work sticks out okay coming for a cheeky couple of hours on the boat shells at work and I'm uh, working later on so before I get a couple of hours in so far, the boat, oh my god, it's a mess, we've got to clear so much off it. Uh, we're at a point where we've got to moor up at the side, at the moment we're still just uh, tied onto another boat, but 
once we've got all this stuff off it is just a mess that we can just clear straight off now so we've got the all clear for friday for the boat move and we'll uncover some parts of the wiring just to make some sense to me and it has it all needs fetching out the chair settee whatever you want to call it the pain in my neck has been dismantled it's in six pieces so it should be easy enough now to get out of the boat i've managed to strip back some of the bulkhead that used to be a shelf so that's come out okay so far but this seems pretty solid. I'm just gonna get off this get the socket off now and see what I can see what I can do. <laughs> this is the first time I'm doing this before, like I say, and um I'm a bit nervous. But there we go. It seems pretty solid over that side, so I'm assuming that it's going to be. There's gonna be people watching this video saying it is, it's fixed. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to try it out. See how we get on, but that's my first hour's progress anyway. Next, the socket. So I've got the socket off. Um, these bulkheads are as tough as hot boots. What I wanted to maintain was that mould, so I know exactly what um, my cutting edge is like. I've got a template, basically for the side of the boat this kind of stuff well that's just lego we can just get rid of that so i just thought i'd chop away at it and hopefully this will come free but by god they're so tight so <laughs> what i think i'm gonna do now is cut along that section there in line with this um paint that's missing so cut along that section there and then this should hopefully pull down, but I'm still not helpful. <laughs> oh dear. Um, um, through my own expertise and wisdom, <laughs> um, I've discovered that the bulkhead isn't just gonna go and slot out. Because when I took the sockets off, I noticed these two little battens here, which I'm assuming is what the roof ceiling is fixed on um i'm assuming yeah I, I think it is i'll be surprised if it's not yeah it is yeah so these little battens are all fixed to i would assume oh, don't want to put it off. i would assume that the battens are fixed on to um the bulkhead uh, I don't know 100% for sure for sure I started opening some of the uh, some of the side compartments that free up the wiring so I started opening that up I didn't even see that button but yeah that's clearly fixed into into the bulkhead so that's probably why it wouldn't pull down so I've just butchered that for Absolutely nothing. Oh well, ceilings are going to come down then as well. Shell's going to be ecstatic about that. I have to take out the lights and stuff as well. I mean, this, the thing's got to be rewired anyway. It's not. I'm going to say I'd like to reuse this wood, but I know that there's going to be loads of people out there going, you can't reuse all of that. It's uh, it's going to come apart and tear and not be reusable. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see, eh? So, look, just a quick look at the shower before I head back to pick Shell up from work. Um, I've took up some of the flooring and it's all round by the shower. The boards are just so damp. Um, yeah, it's just so damp. Now on the way back from 
Stoke the shower was leaking and we fixed it as best as we could but it was it's not in any good state at all I mean it's it's just so especially there the wood's rotten just on the outside of the shower that's where the doors were so the doors wasn't too much cop neither so uh, the boards will definitely need replacing but I'm hoping that once we take the floors up you can see it's a bit of rust there but I'm hoping when we take it up that going past that way and that way it's not too bad but who knows you never know dear but you can tell it's just all around the shower so that was one of the problems that they've had for I don't know how long I dread to think but it's all gonna come out there we go Alright then, another day, another dollar. Uh, that's all stripped out now. I don't know what I showed yesterday, I can't remember. I took a photo of it, I know, but I can't remember if I took a video or not. And I'm assuming the bricks missing there is to balance off what's been taken out for the shower, but because of the shower tray being on that side, well, all the radiators that have filled with water, the shower, the bed was here at one point all the radiators there there's two radiators there's also the stove and the washing machine was at the back there as well as a fridge I'm trying to think if anything else was on this side was the settee on this side no it's on this side but all of this heavy stuff is just all on the one side so i'm assuming that the listing is probably because everything's so heavy on the one side so I need to change things around a bit I'm going to try and get some more bricks if I can there's some spare ones up there uh, by the water tank so I can use them um, and if I take out the half that's supposed to be for the shower and then pop them there that should balance that off hopefully if I need to get some more I need to get some more but um, you can also see as well Oh, I don't know whether you can actually. Let's get closer. So, over here, you can see that the bricks are further over to the right than they are the left. So I'm going to scrape out that rubbish there and move all the bricks over. I'm hoping that might help. Who knows? Who knows? It's a bit of a balancing act, isn't it? Whoa. Uh, where there's two bricks there as well, I think I might take those out move those bricks over and put the two bricks on that side it just really lists more to the right than it does the left so the more boards will start to take up i'll see how i get on hopefully we might be able to get somewhere then uh i've got board as well <laughs> we're ripping the floor up but, and it's also glastonbury this weekend and i want to listen to some music if possible so i've had a look at the old speakers which are here four inch speakers they're car stereo speakers those and they're not fully waterproof they're quite big and bulky so i had a look on amazon and found a good set from what i can see on paper but i don't know how it's gonna work um in reality but the one thing was happening with the speakers was let me just see if i can find one out if we got one uh I had one. Have I just thrown it in? Ah, it's disappeared. Oh, here it is. Right, so as you can see, all the rust and stuff I'd imagine from when it's got warm has caused condensation for it to just fizzle out and die. So they're not in great nick at all. Not in great nick at all. Plus, the depth of them, as they're magnetic, uh, here we go, yeah, it's magnetic, the depth of them was actually hitting the top of the boat, which I don't know whether that's doing any good, to be honest. It's rusted around the top, so I'm going to try and get a bit of uh, spray foam, I think, and just 
get the top insulated a little bit. I might just have to back tan them as well, just to just to get them right again, and then foam over the top of it afterwards. But every every hole that's there has rusted so far, so I'm assuming the heat off that would have caused condensation. It's not great anyway, is it? So uh, they're my old speakers. I need to keep that scraper blade. I want that. So my new speakers are these. Like I said, I'll put them on. Uh, I'll put the link on YouTube. The speakers are marine speakers. It's supposed to be IP66, which is completely waterproof. They're, from what I can see, relatively good. You get a manual. Whoa, don't cover the vent on that. The speakers, you can get them in either black or white. There's also an adhesive. Um, I think they're tinned as well, the connections. So they're pretty cool. So they're 80 watts each, the speakers. I don't want to, I'm not one for having like absolute booming music anyway. So there are speaker wires that you get with them, but they are going to be too small. That's probably for a small power boat. Uh, I believe there's already some tinned flexible cable here it looks like one mil one and a half possibly to push when i have brought some flex for the speakers going further out up the top there if uh if the cabling's not suitable but this cabling's okay from the look of it it's not degraded um from what i can see as such no there's no engraving on the side to tell you what it is but i'm assuming it'll be all right because they're only close by the radio is just here, so it's not going to take too much to get to that. They're less than, they're less than three meters, so yeah. I had to use a standing knife around the rim and to get into the screws as well, slightly because there's that much paint. Oh, they're just caked in, so I've got to use the standing blade or a screwdriver just to get the paint out of those screws to get a good grip on them and hopefully to get them out just like those two. Right, I can't do it with one hand, I'm gonna crack on. Some people have said to me, why are you rewiring this boat? Uh, well, one thing is, there's a socket here, just at the back of the boat, and it had a 13 amp plug plugged in, two core, don't forget, every socket should have three cores. And this socket was just connected with two cables, alive and neutral, which is just pants, really, isn't it? So I'll turn the camera around. As you can see, it was just being fed from there through a hole which was next to the 12 volt, which again, shouldn't do. Uh, and then, Going into the back of the socket here. So that's why I am taking this out and the rest of them because it's shocking. There we go. What I did do as I was fetching the speakers out and got bored of doing that for 10 minutes is strip out all of the trim, trim -em -em, the trim that goes along the galley and into the living area so I can see where cables go, basically. So all there is now is this small stretch here, which is, to be honest, solid as a rock. Uh, I, don't know. I, might able, I might be able to get that out. Um, and then that goes into the fuse board area. Happy Monday, 26th of June. So, oh, my beard. We're going to be scraping the floor today. I started to record a video and then I thought I'll open the doors behind there because it was getting a bit dusty to be honest. I look like I've got rust all over my face. Um, um, so I thought I'll open the doors, get some fresh air in. I forgot about that. Important. Especially when you're scraping rust up. Uh, and I thought I'll have a look at the videos, getting on how many minutes I've done. And my phone was off 
and uh, well, I, I don't know, I don't know how much it recorded, but I look back at the intro and I wasn't in it at all. And when I was talking about it, so I thought, oh, do you know what? I'm just gonna do a selfie video first and then start recording one afterwards with the front camera on. Um, oh, I've got to upgrade my phone. So basically, it's floor scraping day today. I've got my big massive scraper um, and the biggest, the biggest, biggest dustpan in the world. It's massive. Um, it's from Wix's and let's just empty this. Okay. It's almost the size of my belly. That's massive. Um, so yeah, it's this huge pan. It's called the Bulldozer from Wix's, six quid. While I'm getting up loads of rubbish, it's bang on. So I've done two parts of the floor now. There's 10 sections all together. Uh, can you see the difference? Uh, there we go. There you can, you can see the difference there, just in that footage. Um, quite a lot of rubbish. There's not that much rust, to be honest. There's enough rust, I think, for the back tan to apply to. I, th I think it should, pardon me, it should be okay. But, um, it, it is okay. It's not in bad condition. But the bricks outside, they stink of damp. So I've got to think of a solution on what to do with them. I was thinking of just, um, I was thinking of just jet washing them off and then soaking them in uh, white vinegar, apparently that works with damp, and then just let them air out outside, because they're outside on the workshop at the minute. Because um, by the time I've done all this, they'd have been out there for some time anyway. <coughs> God, my chest is going. Um, so yeah, we're... There's a ghost in the house. So, yeah, gonna have a crack at scraping the rest. I've got eight more to do. They're taking about 20 minutes each one, so I don't know, I, I don't know how long I'll, uh, I'll have left to be honest, because I've got to pick shut up later, so I'll just have a crack at it, see how I get on, and uh, take it on there. So I'll start recording me just scraping around and you can just watch my fat bum wiggle about, and that's it, see you in a bit. because the solar panel uh, controller, the MPPT, has gone off. I don't know if that's just to do with the dirt that I've got on all the solar panels, or uh, I don't know, there's not enough power is getting to it, it's not charging. Um, but I ain't got time to look at it today, and I wanna, I wanna just get a few more of these done if possible. <laughs> 